Welcome and all aboard for the last caboose episode 10. We're sat here looking at the Camor freight yards that we put in in the last episode and they look mighty dead. We have no trains going to them and uh, we have no goods being delivered or anything of the sort. So I think it's time to remedy that situation and start tapping in on our coal and iron resources and uh, moving up to the steel mill in Airdrie. So without further ado, I think we should just get going on this right away. <clears throat> so I think the first thing that we want to do is uh, something we didn't do last time, which is signal up the, uh, the um, freight yard. And so we want to put in a whole bunch of two-way signals, I think. And we're going to put them leaving the station. There we go. I believe which one is siding access. That last one won't need a signal as it's just siding access. On this side, we're going to do the exact same thing. The one right by the signal house. It's quite appropriate. And then one, squeeze it in there. And this is one where we're gonna squeeze it all the way back here. And again, this middle track, this middle track does have access, but uh, we aren't going to use it. And then we're gonna want a two-way signal, I think right here, right before the road. And then we're gonna want some one-way signals. Uh, protecting this junction up here there we go we've got our trio signals protecting that side and then we're gonna want a couple of signals down here we're gonna want a two-way signal coming out of uh, Canmore and again on the opposite side of Canmore we have a two-way signal for the depot access here right when we switch over to our track our main line here we're going to protect this whole main line and we're also going to give it priority by putting a two-way signal or a one-way signal up here i would like to but as you can see i've added a fence here and that seems to be preventing uh, that one-way signal from being put in oh and you know what this is actually uh this is actually um, sorry, part of the station, so we can't place it. So I think we'll put this one here. Actually, this is going to protect both sides of the junction. And if we can get another one in here and a clearing signal uh, right here, uh, because that last signal is so far back. Uh, it's all the way up at the other side protecting this whole piece here and then we're gonna want to put one coming on to the main line here I think if we snap it here I think that's perfectly fine and we're gonna want a crossover I think that signal might actually be in the wrong spot so let's take it out let's uh, put our crossover in first and if we're coming here we want to be able to come on to the main line we're coming in if we come that way and then we're gonna head back that way no I don't think we need a, a crossover on second thought maybe we'll revisit it if we have to remove the signal then say la vie but uh, we're just going to put one in there and see what we get. Now, now that we're all signaled up, I think it's a good time to upgrade this uh, road here and add in a couple of our um, truck stops so we can get coal down into Canmore. There we go, and let's put in a truck stop I just want one side. That's the right side. Actually, it's the left, but there we go. And nothing too outrageous with the corner. See how it gets a bit outrageous there? There, I like that. I think we'll go with that. 
and uh, let's configure it. And we're gonna add some cargo platforms here. And let's uh, take away the electrics because that's not needed. There we go. And uh, perfect. And now we need to go ahead and rebuild Banff or at least build part of Banff a little bit better. So what I'm thinking here is we're gonna go ahead and use our freestyle station again. And uh, why don't we uh, go ahead and double track the rest of this uh, line. So let's just pause it quickly. As, uh, the trains will get angry at us and we don't need that. So let's grab our standard track and we're gonna double track all the way up to Banff. There we go. And I think what we can do now is uh, we can come across. Perfect. And we're gonna, well, we might as well just take this double track all the way to the end of the map, give it some continuity. Um, again, this wasn't a double tracked piece of uh, main line. That's as far as we can extend it. That one can go a little further, but it will look weird. So we'll, uh, we'll live with that. And I think here, uh, what we wanna do is uh, just pop that guy off a little bit and let's get that with our signified double slip, slip switch uh, yes excellent and now we're going to branch off of our uh, main line here and into our freight yard so i think we're going to want to branch off fairly early on and we're going to make it fairly quick 100 kilometers an hour seems reasonable to me and I think if we can get it all the way up to the road in this uh, quick track, and then we'll switch over to our yard tracks. And uh, we're going to go right up to the point that we curve or start to curve. I think that that's appropriate there. And we're gonna have our five meter cargo platform here running right alongside it. And then we're gonna come and we're going to branch off one more time. And uh, yard tracks, there we go. Can we make that branch? Yep, we can. Absolutely. Can we make that branch even sooner? That's the question. If we can put that piece of straight track in there and then get in, perfect. Perfect. Now, if we can just extend that out even further. No, no. That's as far as we're gonna get. I wanna get this as long as possible. So here I'm holding shift and just inching it ever so closely, closer to the, uh, the mainline track. And then I think we're gonna put in our 10 meter wide cargo platform and we're gonna bump it all the way down here. And there's no need to have a terrible amount here. It's not uh, going to be overly busy in terms of freight. We just have goods delivered and we'll deliver it to this platform and goods taken away on that excessively large platform there. So if we uh, put in our waypoints here uh, this will be our long one. Look at that, 312 meters. That could be a very long train. It has the possibilities. And there we go. Perfect. And here we're going to do much the same. And there we are. And if we can, there we go. 250 meters, we're gonna join it. And we have a new station. We're gonna call that Banff Freight Yards. Banff Freight Yard. I don't know why I feel the need to, uh, oh, I guess I wanna go back in there and pluralize all of them. 
because it's not too well I guess there are two tracks but again I just don't feel the need to pluralize it it is just one yard not several yards and there we go we're gonna have our uh, our little cargo entry building there I wish they had more assets for that but uh, say la vie say la vie now if we can get a street in here now we're on upgrade mode and we want tram track yes absolutely why might as well put that in right as we're thinking of it and here we're going to add a building we're going to put this guy in and we're going to go yes one for each side we've got two sets of goods to deliver here but i think this will more than suffice if we can get it nicely lined up a little bit more I think that pretty much takes care of it I might have gone one too far there I'm gonna say live with that live with that and now wrong button we're gonna configure this one and we're just gonna add our cargo platforms uh, just maybe three we're just gonna do a delivery only at this point but uh, I think uh, in the future we will be having goods return to Banff and we want tram track yes you bet we want the tram track now, if we could get that to Y in a little bit better now this I found that this sometimes if we go like this and we delete it back and we make this the main road uh, it'll give nicer turns so if we can get our tram track in there I didn't on the last piece there we go and we'll get curve and we'll stretch it out excellent and we'll take it off and we'll connect that guy in perfect and let's put our tram tracks in all the way down let's zoom right out so we can really get in there and then I guess it's just up here where we're going to add our last um, platform let's go to the right this time and I think if we if we sneak it in here I think we're gonna be pretty good if we sneak it right about there and we do some smoothing and uh, let's go in I should have just taken the electrics off right away but I never remember these things so and then we go cargo let's just extend that to no end as far as it'll go that's as far as it'll go perfect uh, I think we might have a hope of catching up on this one uh, because of our fantastic um, uh, freight trolleys but uh, I think this doesn't need to be upgraded, does it? So we can hold shift and we'll just get that piece there. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We are all connected. And let's just make this look a little bit better. Get our smoothing tool out. I think no amount of smoothing is gonna fix that. We're just gonna have to live with it. We might come back and revisit it here um, later on. But I did find a perfect spot to place one of our uh, tram depots. And so I think we're gonna place it right in here, right in Bankhead. Give uh, Bankhead another reason to exist. And it's the uh, departure point and the operations of the trolleys. So we can put one there, and then I think just for scenery's sake, why don't we put one right at the entrance to our freight yard here in Canmore? If we can make it look nice. And that sits on the level, but it doesn't. Oh, oh. I think that might be it. Oh, you know, our. It's going to clip, so. We're gonna have to put it on a bit of an angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and get it in there. And I think if we can pop it right there, even 
just twist it ever so slightly. There. Now our uh, freight trains won't clip it. And I think that that looks, for all intents and purposes, just fantastic. So now we've got those two things in. Uh, what we want to do is we need to complete our line over to the uh, steel mill up in Airdrie. And so I think our best bet, this is, as I keep mentioning, we can play it again. We'll probably have to signal up that uh, Banff freight yard there, but uh, our best bet is to just branch off here as quickly as possible. Um, so we're gonna remove this one signal or the tree, one of the two, come on. There we go. And uh, we will rebuild this here uh, in future episodes, but for the time being, I just need to get it going. And I've hummed and I'd hawed about maybe just biting the bullet and doing the rebuild now, but the costs are gonna be so astronomically expensive that I think we can just go ahead and make it work for now and uh, I think that is more than adequate. Um, now what we want to do is we want to come around and start following the road all the way up to Airdrie. Now we're going to double track this right off the bat because we know that this eventually is going to get busy and this will serve as a main line. Um, yeah, and so what I'm seeing there is a big cutting and I don't mind it at all. So we're gonna just go ahead and say, yep. And we're going to just curve out a little bit where are we aiming. We're gonna aim for the far side of Airdrie there. So if we can even come up there, that makes a right mess of that junction there. There, if we can, if why don't we just pull this and then say flat. That's pretty much what we want to do. And we can adjust as we go north. Uh, we'll turn that back on to follow the terrain. And uh, I think we're going to have one freight yard going in there. We're going to have a train station here at the back of Airdrie. So why not uh, send that down and let's just place, I'm not gonna use the train station right away, but because we have, uh, we're playing in medium mode, there is absolutely no concerns now about us running out of money. Um, and I think we can just simply place this right in there and it just gives us a target to shoot towards. So if we grab this guy here, and we connect it all the way back to here. We've got some cutting and I think that looks fantastic. And then what we want to do here is we're going to just add our track for our main line. And then we're going to come out Again, I do that just so it's not impossible to delete the whole thing. And uh, let's just take that back just ever so slightly. And we only put that in just as a thing to shoot for. And now we're gonna just get our main line in there. And uh, let's hope that we are on the correct side. Oh, and we are, fantastic. So, too much slope. Where? Where is there too much slope? I don't believe you. Well, there's a simple solution for that. Just take that road right on out of there. There we go. And we're just gonna double track this all the way back now. And this is gonna be one heck of a long run, so I think right off the bat we want two trains um, running this just for frequency's sake. It's going to, as I said, take quite some time. 
So we've got uh, a steel mill and, or a plank and steel required here to make machines. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is we'll add a little freight uh, terminus there. We'll also come in and we're going to add one right in here, I think. And I'm gonna do this very, very uh, carefully. And so what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna just start with our five meter cargo platform. And uh, we're not gonna turn that into a five meter cargo platform. I think what we should do is maybe, how long? We need this long, because these trains will be long. So I th if we get this, come on, stop doing that. If I can hold shift and basically get it all the way down to there, nice and straight, and right up to the edge of the map. And then we're going to take yard tracks, and we're going to run our yard tracks all the way along here, and we're gonna go nice and flat. Perfect, excellent. I think this is exactly what you would see as a siding. And uh, now I wanna upgrade these just right there. And we're gonna start using this track here. And if we can, we're going to have to delete this just to make our lives a little easier. We're gonna come in, we're gonna place the inside track first. Fantastic. And I think at this point, we'll single track it into this because this is just gonna be simply for uh, the steel. We might end up having a second uh, track here to, um, and we will actually definitely have a second track. Uh, 273 meters, that is fantastic. Uh, oh, we need to just briefly, if we can, extend that. It does a little bit of a a jog towards the end and you know what I'm willing to live with it for now just because it's at the edge of the map I think that that's just why that's occurred and if we go like that boom and we can call this Airdrie Steel so there we go we've got the name in and uh, now we need to configure this station. And we're going to place this right at the end here. I don't think that there'll be any need for truck stops or anything of the sort. We'll place it just in from the end. I wonder if we place two and how well they'll look together, but we'll upgrade these as time goes on. And let's just bring a nice small road straight out and that should connect the steel mill to our freight station and it does fantastic fantastic so now we've got that in let's uh, do some signaling here uh, we've got it quite a bit so we're going to add a two-way signal right here as we open up onto the main line I think we'll add a blocking signal here. Oh, we're gonna want them one way. And we're gonna go. I don't think that this signal is really even necessary. These signals are very difficult to uh, get a hold of sometimes. Looks like we've got two different layers of track we'll have to definitely um, work on that but uh, for the time being I think uh, we'll be fine and here we go we're just putting in some blocking in here not that this is going to be well used uh, to begin with I think this is uh, definitely overkill but we are going to branch out start making us some more money now, there we are. Put 
put some blocking here and then we're gonna protect this junction here here and there excellent and we are signaled all the way up to the end and let's add our last few signals up here at the freight station so we have one part of our blocking here uh, that's a signal protecting we might as well put a short signal in the middle and some more blocking here there and then we're going to oh and we need a crossover to get back into onto our line here so we're going to add a crossover starting here that signal's going to be in the way and we want it to be fairly quick so let's uh, pop that out and then we can get that even further back I'm shooting for a hundred there there we go and now let's put this signal in here and then we want two-way signal one there we want one coming out of the passenger station we want one coming out of the freight yards and that'll keep everybody off and then uh, let's put one more one-way signal there excellent perfect I think we are all signaled up and we are all ready to go let's uh, create ourselves a few new lines so let's start with the iron line up there in Bankhead and we're going to go from Banff East to Banff we'll change the names of those and let's make it now that's kind of a that's more of an iron color an iron orange and uh, it will do what we want it to do I have no concerns about that and we'll rename the lines here in just one second I like to get all my lines in and then rename them um, it's just the way I operate and the way my brain works as long as I color them I can generally remember what they're for so let's see there we've got that line in and now our big line which we're gonna take from Banff freight yard into the Canmore freight yard but we want that to be on terminal 2 that way we can come out onto the main line on the proper side and we're going to take that all the way across the map the entire distance this is going to be one heck of a long line and this is going to be coal and iron coal and iron mixed together kind of makes uh, well more black than anything but I think why don't we just go with our no that's reserved for our passengers coal and iron we'll go with a deep gray why not excellent and there's no issues with those lines so the first thing we need to do is we need to get a train on there I believe just so we can oh we can uh, start the uh, see and this train is gonna go all the way to Airdrie first just because of the way the turntable set up so and I'd love the turntable to turn I haven't figured it out yet I know it does uh, but I think why don't we use the Ogden locomotive works uh, ignore these I <laughs> I've added them in and they seem to uh, <laughs> have popped up at the wrong time so I think we're gonna go for a Baldwin class um, yeah or sorry yeah our Baldwin class 56 uh, 280 absolutely 386 544 386 544 I think we're gonna double head this one and then we're going to go for cargo what did you forget to do and what did you forget to do again we want those in black and I go one two and then I want my wagons I want some gondolas and I am going to want quite a few uh, let's make this train 
133, 140. Yeah, I think that 140 capacity is fine. What are we looking at? Uh, 61 seconds, it's gonna be pretty quick. We're gonna, we're gonna just keep adding until hopefully it doesn't hang over too many stations. I think that that's perfectly fine. A lot of this grade is flat. 175 is a nice round number. As I said, I'm gonna want two of them. And that's gonna be $7 million more than enough and we're gonna put that on line three so perfect now what did I say we're gonna rename our line so we're going to rename this one bank head iron or uh, haulage and then line two is gonna be anthracite Coal haulage. Probably spelled that completely wrong. And then we're going to call this Airdrie Iron Amphrasas Iron and Coal Freight. There we go. So now those two trains are on their way. If we uh, pull up that. Airdrie, iron and coal freight. Let's manage that line. Banff Freight Yard. We are going to load if, av if available, but we're going to load iron only and only up to 50%. And then here in. Did we take off and load? Good. Here we're going to load coal up to. 50% and then that will give us an even mix and then it's going to take nothing back uh, I think that's perfectly fine for now Let's take a peek at one of those coming through. It's going to be a mighty big train It's probably just leaving the depot now. Oh, it's sat waiting for something. What's it waiting for? Oh, it's waiting for our log uh, or a plank freight train and now here it is on its way out 175 that's an uneven number so we're gonna have to manage these vehicles let's go to this manage vehicles both of them 9 and 10 we need to add one more car onto each add one and what did we forget to add what I always forget to add come on you know better than that. Let's put all where there. And add that. Perfect. We're going to modify that and we're going to have black cars except for the very last one, which is going to be our reminder that uh, we messed up. But we need an even number to get 50% because you can't have iron and coal in one car loaded to 50 percent so look at that massively long train that's fantastic now let's hope it uh, doesn't poke out onto the main lines we'll have to keep uh, an eye on that but uh, quickly here we're going to have to well, not overly quickly it's going to take a long time for that train to get up here but let's buy some freight trams let's buy oh, 20 seems excessive 15 for this bank head uh, iron ore haulage and let's take a peek at this one and we're gonna buy 10 for the coral haulage there we go cannot be used did I put the wrong <laughs> and I did manage vehicles Take all of them, replace all of them. There we go. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you just got to pay attention. Excellent. So now we've got our, uh, our freight trams coming up the uh, mountain here to anthracite. And coal is being delivered onto the platform now, so that's fantastic. We've got iron being delivered onto the platform up here. 
So that also is fantastic. So this line is all set up and ready to go. Um, I think our next endeavor is going to be a fairly big one and we want to save up quite a bit of money. Uh, our plan here is to completely rebuild the town of Cochrane and maybe branch out. Uh, turn this wagon road. Um, I think we'll, we won't demolish it. I think we're going to delete the wagons on it, but we're going to uh, branch out and we're going to send branch line. But to do that, I would like to straighten the track through Cochrane. I would like basically this track from this point to go straight through Cochrane and then curve out, uh, which means I'm going to delete a large portion of this city um, and move the sawmill onto the river. Um, it will be quite a big build. So I am uh, thinking that we're gonna have to save up some money for it. Let's take a peek see how well this uh, this big train is coming down here yeah look at that and where is our next big train there we go they will space out um, obviously but uh, for the time being not quite and then we're gonna want to uh, start bringing tools into Calgary uh, I think that that will be uh, of no end of help and we're also going to want to start uh, maximizing our branch lines here maybe adding a few grain farms uh, to make it more realistic it's 1895 now folks um, by this point the uh, the prairies were really starting to be uh, popularized and settled uh, you would have seen more farms spring up I think we're going to add some ranches down in the Turner Valley Longview area uh, right along here it's quite a ranched area so I think we might add some of those uh, rebuild our food plant to be able to accept meat and things like that so there's a lot planned for this map this is uh, even though we finished uh, the main line here in the first six episodes or what have you we're gonna hook everything up and we're going to make this uh, map really come alive um, now one thing we could look at is uh, Cochrane demands machines and tools. Now we are producing tools, are we not? And are we producing an excess amount of tools? Um, let's see, right now we are producing 100 and we're only transporting 36 of them. So we could technically get another load of, uh, or another uh, train and make it a tool haulage and start growing Cochrane as well. Uh, why don't we, we look into doing that? Um, really what I want to do is probably just extend this to no end here. Right now, terminals, everyone's using that, so I could use terminal one, uh, absolutely no problem, uh, because there's a delivery and a pickup on terminal two um, so I think why don't we do that let's uh, I didn't really intend to do this today uh, and uh, we may not have enough money to support this but uh, hey why not let's give it a shot uh, let's bring this in and let's bring that one into number one and number one is going to need a crossover that is exactly correct so if we can grab our track and we can cross over fairly quickly let's grab the yard track and now let's see what that line has done there we go perfect so let's go line one this is going to be can more tool freight and we're going to make that a tool color as I close it. Can more tool freight. Uh, what did we go for? Tool freight is a nice, really light blue. Too dark. One lighter. One even lighter than that. Perfect. And 
I say, why don't we take our train out of this yard here and we're going to, uh, oh, we've got probably just enough money to make this train. So I think we're gonna go for a Baldwin class again. And again, what I always forget to do, let's color it black and let's go for cargo. And we're going to one, two, three. Uh, you know what? I want to color them. I think probably what what seems like a good color. Brown, brown seems like a good color, but you know what? Why not a little bit of a light blue? Baby blue freight cars. Why not? Uh, if we can make this close to 100, 105, and then uh, we're gonna go and add our caboose. Perfect. That doesn't want to be colored, that's silly. There we go, let's uh, add that one. Oh, we've got 10 wheelers. Excellent. Those, uh, those will be fantastic for, let's hope I set that to the right line. Come now, train 11, what are you on? Cam or tool freight. Uh, those will be great once uh, we upgrade our wagons. Um, but as they stand right now, they're just a minor upgrade for uh, these passenger trains. Speaking of which, these passenger trains, how are we running? Are we running full? Are we running empty? Uh, how many people do we have waiting? Going to Lower Cochrane, only three. So they are running, I'd say, well below capacity there. Oh, that is so glowy. Oh boy. Not, not a huge fan. Let's, uh, let's color these wagons again. Um, what we just go all black. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, not a fan of that either. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll come back and we'll revisit this, but let's, let's just color this in company colors for now. There we go. I think uh, we made a few mistakes there. And uh, it's not exactly what I wanted to do with the locomotive, but uh, needs must. And oh, that isn't a double slip switch. Interesting. We'll make that a double slip switch now. Now when we take things out, they'll go onto the right line. Fantastic. Now we've got our coal piling up here. So we've got our coal uh, freight trolleys moving around. I think we're uh, we're in good shape here. Uh, really what I want to know is where our giant coal and iron train is. How far of the map, how far have you made it? Are you only here? No, no. We are here, that's train number nine. So I think while we wait for that to bed in, we've got no money. Um, I think what we wanna do is probably hop on board and take a bit of a ride. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna take a bit of a ride. We'll kinda stay out of the way of the smokestack, maybe hop up a little bit. And uh, yeah, I know it's been a quick episode, but I think it was uh, an important one to make use of that Camor freight yard. Unexpected to get some, uh, some tool delivery in there. We'll probably have to double up on those trains again for the, the distances we're going. Uh, it is going to be tough going uh, in the beginning with our slower trains at 50 kilometers an hour. We're going to really be looking forward to upgrading our trains here. So. Excellent. Uh, thanks for joining me here on episode 10, and I hope to see you again on the next one where we uh, have some really great stuff planned for Cochrane. And uh, once we get that build in in Cochrane, we are going to start a massive build, uh, probably two or three episodes through uh, Calgary. Um, we're going to have to probably maximize quite a bit of money, which is why we want to do Cochrane first. It's where all of our money is coming from. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you with a nice uh, cab ride or a caboose ride all the way into uh, uh, Cochrane or maybe even into Banff. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how long, it, how, how long it takes us. So anyway, thanks again for joining me. Have yourself a great morning, afternoon, evening, night.
take care.